Hey guys, um, so let's talk hair because I feel like I've been able to get mine, you know, really long for my age and it has no split ends in it. Ah, when it's not curled, basically it's like, you know, down to my like lower hip bone, which is actually just honestly too long for me at this point. And I am going to cut it like as soon as I'm done filming, honestly, kind of can't wait to cut it. Um, but yeah, if I was able to do this at, you know, almost 40, then I feel like, well, I'm almost 39, but I'm just calling myself 40 now to like prepare because <laughs> I feel like it's going to be, uh, pretty shocking. Watch out, sweetie. Okay. I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> but, um, my cats like love to, you know, and but yeah, so I just thought that I would give my, you know, tips and tricks first before I cut it. And yeah, so the very first tip is uh, to not color or bleach or dye your hair in any way. Um, you know, I have not colored my hair since uh, probably 2010. And yeah, I feel like it's the most important uh, tip that I have because there's just no way that my hair would have ever grown this long if I was still bleaching and coloring it it used to just be so fried all the time um, but not only is not dyeing it or bleaching it you know really good for the health of your hair but it's also obviously um, very helpful for the environment as well because you know when you think about how many people are coloring and bleaching their hair, uh, you know, all that stuff that just gets washed down the drain and chemicals like that don't just, you know, go away. So, um, by not contributing to that, you're definitely helping the environment. Uh, but not only, you know, not only is it, you know, really good for the environment, but it's also very good for your health too. There have been studies that show that the chemicals like the bleach and the hair dyes actually um actually penetrate the scalp and end up in your bloodstream so just all around horrible idea honestly it's just so bad for your health your hair and the environment but you know i'm obviously getting up there in age so um you know gray hair is of course around the corner and um if you are coloring your hair because you don't like the gray, you know, I've actually seen so many videos about people who have reversed their gray hair with black strap molasses. And there's actually tons of videos here on YouTube as well that, you know, if you're curious about trying black strap molasses to reverse gray hair, you could definitely check those out and, you know, follow their um, follow their advice. That's what I plan to do once, you know, I have, you know, more gray hair. Um, I actually have already tried taking the black strap molasses. I make like, um, sort of a latte out of it, like a black strap molasses, like hot latte. I mix it with milk. It's just not my favorite. Obviously it's something I would have to do, um, regardless, but just not something that I particularly enjoy. So I've been holding off on doing that, even though it's better to prevent gray hair than wait till your whole head is full of the gray hair. And then there's also too, just embracing the gray hair. You know, a lot of people actually love the color, prefer that color. So that's another thing for me too, is I mean, maybe I'm just gonna embrace the gray. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I'll most likely try the black strap molasses um, because, you know, if I'm missing minerals or something and that's remineralizing the hair or something, I mean, I'm gonna just try that. But anyway, so no hair dye, no bleach. Um, but the second, um, the second tip is also just like no heat tools um, because those obviously also destroy the hair. So I just curl my hair, you know, in a heatless roller overnight. Like when my hair is not curled, you know, as I mentioned, it's like practically like 
down to my like thigh at this point. It's like, I can't take it anymore. I've got to like cut some of this off. Um, so yeah, and those, and it does work for super long hair too, the heatless rollers. Um, now also too, if you don't like sleeping in them, which I totally understand and can drive me nuts too, you can, you know, you wear it during the day too. Just wait till your hair is like pretty much almost dry, but still like moldable. And then that way you just, you don't have to keep it in for as long. And you can maybe even just on a, the slowest setting of a hair dryer, even though it is a heat tool, um, you can just dry it really quickly, like on a super low setting with a hair dryer. Um, but definitely no curling irons or flat irons or any other heat tool that directly singes the hair. So, <laughs> and then the third thing is actually this shampoo that I've been using. I what I love the most about it is there's no plastic, so plastic-free bottles. Like anytime I can get anything plastic free, I pretty much do. So, Miss Girl, come here, girly. So this one is from Viore, and I love it. It's actually, you know, it's like no sulfates. That's what you want. It's just a super gentle shampoo that does not dry your hair. And this one has the most amazing floral essential oils in it, so it smells so good. Um, but yeah, it's like a rice shampoo bar. And I'm going to leave the code that I have for it um, below. I've been using this for like two years, so I like legit use this. And watch out, girly. Um, hi. <laughs> um, so I legit use this. And um, anyway, I do have a code and it gets you, I think 10% off. It is ethical 10 if you if you use that at checkout, it will get you 10% off. It's ethical 10, E-T-H-I-C-A-L-1-0. Um, at checkout, that code will get you 10% off. So, and I'll also leave it down below in the um, description. But, but yeah, so I use this um, and then I also, for everyday use, and then I also use two conditioners they have um, a conditioner bar which is also completely plastic free which is amazing um like less stuff to recycle and clog your like recycle bin up with i love that um so i use their conditioner bar but i also will sometimes still have to use a deep conditioner for every day just because the conditioner bar isn't the like fastest and easiest thing for detangling super long hair but that conditioner bar is amazing and should pretty much always be like the last step of your um, shampoo and conditioning process, especially if you're someone who conditions twice. Um, just because it works so amazing as the last step, like um, will condition my hair better than, you know, any other like deep conditioner that comes in a plastic bottle. So, um, so yeah, so just uh, no dye, no bleach, no heat tools. And then the third one is just using a very gentle sulfate free um, shampoo that would hopefully have some sort of oils in it to uh, not dry or, or strip your hair out, not dry or strip out your hair while you're shampooing it. And then their conditioner bar is incredible too as a last step of your conditioning process um sometimes conditioning twice also is just like a super helpful tip so i'll like immediately before i even um shampoo my hair i'll just add conditioner to make sure it's moisturized before i shampoo then i'll shampoo then i'll do like a last like um conditioning step again so it's kind of like condition shampoo condition so so let me know if you try out any of these steps, how it goes, um, if you're able to grow your hair out. And um, I'm just trying to think if I have any other tips. I guess the very last thing I'm gonna mention is sometimes like I'll leave in a little tiny bit of olive oil. I don't do this often, 
but if your hair is really dry and you're really needing it for some extra like um, conditioning, I'll sometimes just use like a tiny drop of just pure, straight, organic olive oil. You know, you don't need to go out and buy all these crazy products. Um, and then I'll just like leave it in for the day. But just I, the reason I say only a tiny bit is just because it can make your hair look really oily. So like last night I did put some of it in before I used the hair curler and it did kind of make my hair look sort of like just the bottom half because I only put it on my ends. It did make it look slightly kind of like not greasy, but I don't know, kind of wet. So just very small amount and you only need a little because even just one little drop is enough to cover like the whole bottom half of my hair and make it look like shiny and um, keep it feeling soft. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to be back soon with more content because I've been trying to, you know, put some more stuff out. But anyway, I will uh, hopefully be back on soon. You guys have a good rest of your day.